G'day mates, Home Slice here, and a welcome back to the council. We're up to part 14 now. In the last one, we managed to convince Manuel Godoy to join Mortimer's side, and during that uh, conference we had, Jacques Peru was... I was about to say threatening to kill himself, but I think he was actually just going to do it. But uh, we managed to talk him down, and... Now we're going to sleep this day off and um, continue with the conference tomorrow. So, yeah, we'll head inside the room and probably have a cat scene or something. So, yeah, let's do it. And we do. Next time, I'll listen to my mother. Not a day has gone by without something happening to me. What now? Yeah, who's it going to be this time? Louis, open up, please. Coming, Mr. President, I'm coming. Louis, oh, there you are at last. Yes, I... I just saw your mother. She was accompanied by Emily, and they both went into the Duchess's room. I tried to join them, but I was refused entry. Louis, this does not bode well. Oh, shit. Emily might want to avenge your sister. I must act quickly. You're right, Mr. President. Thank you. No, it's a bait. It's actually going to be Emma. It's actually going to be the twin that uh, is going into the room. Just you wait. Now I need to remember where her bloody room is. We may as well just do the um, circle around until we find it, I suppose. But yeah, I have a feeling it's just going to be a bait. So that's Washington's room. Elizabeth is up here. Are we still blocked from here? No, we can go back in, but no need. We uh, must be coming up on it shortly. I think I remember talking to her out in this hallway. I sort of want to use some effort point jelly or a carmelite water, but I also don't, just, to, you know, I don't want to waste it because we're about to sleep and we'll get some for free with the regeneration thing. Oh, maybe it was uh, this part where we talked to her. But yeah, we must be coming up on it here. This is Jack Peru and that's Napoleon, so we don't have many left to go now. I think this one might be it right here. I heard someone say Emma. Once again, you're the one who should be coming over. What are you on about now? I should never have told you what happened to me. That I regret, and you know it so well. I'm not that naive. I know you inside out. Look. All right, I'm just going to click. There, it's the two sisters arguing. I do believe that's Emily's voice. Oh, shit. Listen. No, what if one of them storms out? I'm just going to knock. Emily, Emily, are you there? Answer me. Emily. Oh, the dialogue's repeating. Try to open. Pick the lock, force open the door. Well, let's just force it open. Uh, maybe I should have picked the lock. <sighs> Impossible. I can't do it. There's something blocking it on the other side. Oh, pick it then. Another way in. No, pick it. Oh, I can't. Well, shit. Uh, listen. I can't understand what she's saying. Okay. I assume we're going to need to go into someone else's room. And then, like, go there through the balcony or something. Or maybe here. Yeah, maybe... No, can't go through those doors. That one's blocked. Hmm. That one's blocked. Where do I bloody go, then? This is... Washington. Uh, let's go in here. Maybe we can, maybe he has a balcony. Um, oh, I was right. 
Good. Well, I want to search it before, uh... Golden Elixir. Oh, fucking hell. Okay, well, I want to search, uh... This side. Oh, that one's blocked. Before heading in there. I assume I'm not on a time limit or anything. Oh, okay. Whose is this one? Uh, this is Walner's room. Alright. Well, we have access to the... Oh, this side of the balcony now, so that's good. Yes, yeah, so let's start running along here. Oh, that's the golden elixir. Coin? Amber. Okay. Amber. Yeah, yeah. Is this back at Washington's? Uh, okay, I'm going to need to get to uh, the balcony on the other side of uh, the building. So, I think we can go this way and go through someone's room. Maybe Jack Peru's room or um, Napoleon's room. So, that's... This is Piag oh, Piagi's is always bloody blocked. Can never go in there. This is our room. Oh, we don't need to go in our room anyway. Right, we'll get there eventually. Good doy. Yeah, okay, we've got to get on to Napoleon's room. Or Jack Peru's. We'll just go Napoleon's first. Hopefully he's not in here. Oh, what about this way? Shit, I forgot this door's here. Okay, well, I'm gonna see if I can listen or do anything. Wait, what about that note? My dearest son. Ah, read it already. Alright. I clicked. Oh. Damn it. It's closed. Seems like the key is still in the lock on the other side. That means I won't be able to pick it. Or, I could do as I did the last time in the tower room. Um, look at the gap between the door and the floor. I want to check the balcony first, just in case. And I want to get... I have to get inside Emily's room through the... Shit! It's locked. Uh, what about through... Oh, wait, this is the entirety of Napoleon's room? I could have sworn it was bigger than this when we've... Been in here before. Where's his bed? Oh, well, I'll check Jack Peru's room. Ah, oh, the servant will come along and be like, Oh, it's, uh... You're not allowed in, right? Oh, we can come in. What's Walner doing in here? Come on, for Christ's sake, Peru. Wake up! Deriche, what do you want? Oh, great doesn't look inclined to let me pass. Oh, uh, we're really? gonna... Don't make me repeat myself, Teresa. Fuck you. What are you here for? You wouldn't be in cahoots with Peru by any chance now, would you? Uh, I come out to see Peru is. That's probably an immunity. Oh, I think diversion is actually... Uh, well, no. Diversion, okay, yep, free point. What am I doing here? I could ask you the same question. This isn't your room, as far as I know. Don't go trying one-upmanship with me. I I have a very good reason <laughs> to be here. Right. Find a way of getting rid of him, Louis. Otherwise, he won't leave you alone. I am persuaded that Mortimer has a secret room somewhere in the manor. If I'm here, it's obviously because Peru must know where it is. But... You might even know about it. Do you? Uh, any study? I don't have any points. And I'm going to hope that this isn't an immunity. Uh, try in his study. Sure, let's just go for it. Look, if Mortimer really has a secret room, you ought to try in his study, don't you think? Probably, yes. Anyhow... That's where I would have built one. I'll go and see in his study. But I'm warning you, Deriche. If you're taking me for a ride, I'll make you regret it. Right. Shit. That's one thing out of the way. 
I hope he doesn't actually find it, because that would sort of suck. Um, now, does he have anything here? Oh, yes. Dear Monsieur... All right. I've retrieved everything. Yeah, get the potions from there. Spare Devil's Thorn. Well, I'm down to one Devil's Thorn. Uh, before I talk to him, I just want to check all the stuff, just in case. Read that one. And then I want to go out on the window, of course. I assume we won't need to waste any points if we go via his room, because he'll give us the key or something. But he doesn't trust me from that conversation. Exi what? Is something wrong? Oh, I think the servant said that he was on a drug or something. So let's just examine first. Oh. He's in a catatonic state. Yeah, okay. I've seen patients after a major trauma before, but but nothing like this. Mortimer has spared no effort to calm him down. Um, Choice already made. Uh, I assume these ones do the same thing. So I'll just try speak, I suppose. Monsieur! I, I don't want to hear. Monsieur Ferreux! Hey, no. I won't. No. No, no, doctor. No. Ah. Oh, man. I don't know what Mortimer has given him, but he's not looking all there. Okay, what about his pockets? Let's see what he has on him. Treaty on Modern Interrogation Techniques. Wow. What a fun book to... Have. That's it? Nothing? Nothing else? He's in a catatonic state. Uh, leave. Alright, let's just uh, go through his door here. Don't... Be oh, what? What? What a pointless door. What the fuck is that door even doing there? Ah, oh. this one. Okay. All right. It's gonna say, "What the hell?" All right. That's blocked. 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 Any juiciness for me to grab? Okay. Let's go in. Huh. It's as if there are several people inside. Oh, that's mother on the floor right there. Okay. A Chinese coin, recognizable by the hole in the middle. If I remember rightly, that's called a cash. Okay, well, I want to search stuff before going in there. Search. A devil's thorn. Yay. To uncover the best disguised traits. What about this? Two coils circle the lock. Uh, unlock. So, yay, subterfuge. Ooh, a letter as well. Dear Gregory, thank you for the information. I've managed to find out about the names you gave me. George Washington is a man you can trust. In spite of his obvious talent for politics, he has remained upright and honest. On the other hand, as you may well know, he is already doing business with Lord Mortimer. It will be more difficult to approach him. Napoleon Bonaparte was unknown to me until today. He's a passionate young French soldier for whom Mortimer predicts a promising future. Take heed, he is a man of conviction, which to my mind makes him potentially dangerous. As for Sarah de Richet, what more is there to say? You already know each other. She was apparently invited by Lord Mortimer about an ongoing matter in Paris that concerns a receiver in stolen art. See you soon. Duchess Emily Hill. Hmm. Okay, well... All right. I've retrieved everything. If she's, like, up with Holm, then I don't think I can trust her at all anymore. Oh shit, what a... She can see me, but she's not like... Cutscene? Okay. What on earth is... You... Mother? How dare you do this to me? You can talk. After everything I've done for you. You are joking, I hope. Right? I gave you my life. That's enough, Emma. 
Now that Louis is here, you will leave Sarah alone. Cease your revenge immediately. What? What? If you think you're going to... Louis, help me, I beg you. I can no longer reason with her. I am Emily. Quit playing games. I... What? Honestly, don't be ridiculous. No. I am Emily. You are wasting your time. Uh. Louis knows very well how to tell us apart. After everything we've been through together. Yes, well... Don't you dare bring him into this. This is between you and me. I ask for nothing more, so stop taking it out on Sarah. I... You frizzy little bitch! How dare you! Now that I've told you everything, you want to take my place, do you? You are joking, I hope. I'm the one who told you everything that's been going on while you were away. Go on, then. That's what you want, isn't it? You want to kill me? Go on, then. Shoot! After all the trouble I've gone through to find you. Go on. What are you waiting for? Here, Louis, take this. Wait, what's going An entire life for this. Go on, shoot. Sorry, Louis, I, I can't shoot her. She's my sister. I That's enough, Emma. Louis, out of the way. She's dangerous. Don't trust her. What are you trying to do? Louis, out of the way. I am not Emma. Come on, Louis, tell her who the real Emily is. Wait, I... That's right, Louis. I'm what? fed up with this little game. Tell him who the real Emily is. Why do these things always happen to me? Well, <laughs> Louis, come on, you know how to tell us apart, right? Yes, yes, but I'd like to ask you a few questions to make sure there's no doubt. Rational and open, Louis. Let's see. Don't be timed. How can I tell them apart? Wait. I've got an idea. On the night of our arrival... Ask the twin... What... What sort of option is this? Uh, I don't think it's going... Uh, just go in front. Who was with us? What is my job? What happened to me? What did you give me? That's a good one. You gave me something. I wasn't feeling very well, and, and you gave me something. What was it? My handkerchief. And you even kept it. It was stained with your blood. Louis, I already told her. This is all a waste of time. I'm the one oh. who told you. Right. Let's find something else. Ah, uh, yes. Let's speak about my arrival at the manor. Uh, pose a question to Emily behind me. <sighs> Again, I don't think it's going to matter which one I ask, right? I hope it doesn't. Uh, how did Mortimer welcome us? What did we speak about? Who stayed with who? Well, this is zero points and a pretty good question at that. So I'm going to ask this one. On the night of our arrival, we were warming ourselves in front of the fire. We oh, no. Us in a very odd way. What happened? It won't work, Louis. It wasn't Mortimer who welcomed us. It was Sir Gregory. Sorry, Louis. I already told her. Very well. Let's try something else. On the first night, we went up to bed, but I wasn't tired. I went for a little stroll. Speak in front again. Did we see each other? Did we speak to each other? What did I take from you? Oh, God damn it. Did we speak to each other on the first night? I assume we did. We spoke to, like, everyone. Did we get a chance to speak? Certainly not. I was exhausted and went to bed. Don't think you're going to get away with this deception so easily. I can assure you, you're going to regret pretending to be me once Louis has exposed you. Right. I don't think I'll get very far like this. I'll have to find something better. Oh, I don't think I'll even wait until he's finished. Take it easy now. Are you mad, Louis? Lower your arm. Oh, I'd better act quickly if I don't want things to get out of hand. Come on, she's putting one over on you. Look at yourself for crying out loud. You were prepared to shoot me down. What about the secret room? What's he thinking about? In the secret room behind the study. Talk to them about what you've been doing. Maybe they haven't spoken about it between each other yet. On the night of the disappearance of Elizabeth Adams. What about it? What do you want to know about that night? Again, I'm just going to go for the one in front. Um, 
make her talk about the objects you found. How did she get past the... Go Maybe... Oh, wait, can I not go back? I can't go back now. I wanted to switch it to the... To the one behind. Well, I'm... Sh they probably both know about the Gorgon, so definitely go for this. We found ourselves in Mortimer's secret gallery. What do we find in that room? A load of old junk that Mortimer had collected. A so-called Pandora's box in the form of an urn. An old sheepskin that he must take for the golden fleece. The Bible of Judas. Property deeds as old as the hills. And a broken old sword. You are wasting your time, Louis. She already knows all that. Of course I do. I was there. That's enough! I've had enough of this charade. Louis. There's only one way to tell us apart. There's just one thing I didn't tell her about in detail. Too bad for you, Emma. I didn't want it to come to this, but you leave me no choice. Ask her about you and I. You just lost Emma. I indeed didn't tell you everything about it. Come, Louis. Speak about our intimacy. Very well. Let's talk about us. <laughs> Oh, I've ruined this, haven't I? Uh, last night, what were you expecting of me? What did you do last night? What did we talk about? I'm just going to go for the Carmelite water and go for this. Hopefully I haven't fucked this up. Last night, when you came to my room, what exactly did you expect? Another immunity? Exactly what happened. I was hoping you would share your bed with me. What? Which I did. And it was delicious, sir. What do you mean? It was delicious. You little slut. What did you do? Believe it or not, Louis, out of fear of her jealousy, I didn't tell Emma that we spent last night together. I hate you! That's enough, both of you. Now I know who the real Emily is. Emily is opposite you. Emily is behind you. I think, I don't know. I just do not know. Uh, all of the details have flown over my head and I think I picked the shittest. Wait, mother is moving around right now. What What's up with that? I think she's just spasming a bit. I think Emily's opposite. Mm, wait, which one was upset about the romance? I think the one next to me. Yeah, I think Emily's opposite. It's you, Emily. No, Louis. She is manipulating you. Profiler. Wait, does that mean I got the right one? You think you... I don't... Oh, I think. Okay. No, Emma. It's her. I know it. Despite all the trouble you've gone to to put one over on me, I know it is her. That's enough now, Emma. You little slut. Don't think you are going to get away with this so easily. You are going to stop your little game right now. Never. I am Duchess Hill. No. Well, there it is. Emily? I I'm the Duchess. But you kill don't. them both. I've had I'm... enough. Dear God, what have I done? I've had enough See of this. See what you've done. See, Louis, Mother. What on earth is? Go away. You must go. Everyone is going to arrive. Louis, what's going on? Duchess, is everything all right? Come on, Louis. There's nothing more you can do. But I leave us. Emily, what's going on? Mother, go to the crypt. I'll meet you there. I'll be waiting for you. Emily. Okay. Madam, I am coming in. It was bound to end like this, Louis. Let me stay with her. Please, go. I'll cover you. I thought they loved each other and they were like good sisters or whatever. Yeah, I think I actually did identify the right one, but that was... I think that was a pretty shit scene, the way they did that. That was, I think it was pretty poor, like, voice acting and all that sort of stuff. Wasn't the best. 
Oh, okay, here we go. Good God. They're all here. They must have heard the gunshot. Where is Lord Mortimer? Can anyone hear anything through the door? We gonna talk to him, I guess? Did you hear that? I was not dreaming, was I? Certainly not, Duke Godoy. What's going on? Someone had the bang coming from the Duchess's room, and she isn't answering. Gentlemen, go back to your rooms. Go back to your rooms. I shall find out from Lord Mortimer what this is all about. Thank you. Okay. That's it, then. Can we get some stuff from the servant? My instructions are clear, sir. No one is to enter. Okay. Let's head down, then. Uh, shit. Uh, which way... Uh, was it through? Okay, yeah, we can go through this way. I believe. Yeah, we got the dinner room, then that, like, library room, then the portrait room where the Gorgons are, so... Let's go there, I suppose. God, I really hope I picked the right Emily with that one there. When I got the little achievement thing that said, uh, or the trait that said profiler, I thought, oh shit, yeah, I've got the right one. But it says, I think I picked the right one. Really hoping I did. But yes, out here we go. Is she going to be inside the crypt? Oh, almost. Oh, crap. Wait, is it through here? God damn, I hate this maze. I always get lost in it. Well, I'll go the wrong way, but... Alright, we're, we're good. Let's head down. Oh, crap, am I going to need... Oh, no, the stairs are already out. Thought I would need to do the puzzle again. Alright, what's Mother up to, then? feels sort of weird calling her mother, honestly, when her name's Sarah, and, you know, I... Louis! At last, there you are. Mother, wait, I... Come, we have to be quick. No, wait, Mother, I... Time is running out, Louis. First, we must... No! Questions first. I won't go a step further unless you explain to me what is going on here. I'm begging you. Talk to me. You must trust me, my son. You are not ready yet. You are the one who should trust me. Tell me what's happening. You would never believe me. I came all the way here for you. Now I've found you. I'm ready, Mother. If only. Louis, I have always taught you to keep your mind open and rational. I know you are going to find this hard to believe, but what I am going to reveal to you is entirely true. Many years ago, I found out that demons really do live among us. I beg your pardon? And that they can influence our thoughts. Mother, listen to yourself. I know you're exhausted, but for crying out... No, loud, it's, to it's what true. You're saying. It's demons? true. Demons? <laughs> what next? An ancient monster with a head like an octopus? What do your demons look like? Have they got horns and a pointed tail? No, these are not creatures with billy goat's legs. Forget your Christian folklore. Imagine them more as parasitic spirits. They possess their hosts and direct them from inside. Parasitic are spirits? Are we possessed? Yes. They are capable of going from one body to another as they see fit. And two of them are present on this island. Right. So let me guess. Mortimer and Hom, Washington and Bonaparte. Walner and Godoy, the boogie man and Father Chris. Washington and Bonaparte. I mean, Washington's been acting pretty fucking strangely. Walner and Godoy. Actually, yeah, it's gonna be Washington and Bonaparte because Napoleon's eyes are like all red as fuck. Mortimer and Holm, that's just too obvious. Walner and Godoy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Washington and Bonaparte both have, like, really red eyes. Like, they're drunk as fuck. I'm gonna go for these two. President Washington and Monsieur Bonaparte. No, why? Oh. At least, I don't think so. Yet Washington is old enough to be one. 
Do you really believe that I'm joking here? Many years ago, well before you were born, <laughs> I crossed paths with one of them. Since then, I've spent my life trying to find it again. When we recovered the Alizif, I was persuaded that Von Burchert was working for this demon in one way or another. But I thought he would hand the book to a middleman during this conference. That's where I made an error, an error that could well turn out to be fatal. The one who Burchard was meant to give the book to was none other than the demon in person, Mortimer. Not to mention that Holm had sent Volner to get it for him. Holm and Mortimer are demons? What? They both seem to disagree about many things, but I'll admit I never knew exactly why. There are many of them, Louis, not just those two. Mother, have you any proof to support any of this? Of course, but you do too. You had everything laid out in front of you. Didn't you notice anything? Yes, it it just seems so obvious that it would be Mortimer and Holm. And, you know, Washington is always on his laudanum and has red eyes and Napoleon. I guess I could go back to the conversation about, like, the cannons or selling the cannons to them or something but yeah i just didn't think they would make home and mortimer the demon uh the fact that no one knows him property deeds his secret study the conference um yeah i guess his secret study could be one and did the book as well like it goes really far back in history i went beyond the nightmare mother you understood the Masonic date. 1191. Of course, it was during that siege that the demon took possession of Sir Mortimer. They spent a whole night in conversation until the early hours of the morning. Mortimer had passed the test. He had charmed the demon, and so it chose him to be its host for centuries to come. But tell me, did you find his secret study? I did indeed. Did you see his maps of the world? He has contacts the world over. Yes, I've been developing the Golden Order across the world for many years, and I've never seen anyone with such influence. It's simply inhuman. Okay, well, I guess these other things must have something to do with it if they're still options. You mean the conference? How can you explain that someone manages to bring together so many important figures without anyone knowing? And without any security or personnel. Property deeds? Well, those property deeds across the world, all signed by the same hand and over several centuries. I am proud of you, Louis. I found your notes written in lemon juice. Where all eyes size you up. At one stage, I was so afraid of losing my mind that I noted everything down. Congratulations, Louis. Wait, please tell me you didn't open Pandora's box. The urn? No, I didn't. Why? Good. We'll deal with it later. Okay, does that actually have... Wait, was that the, like, obsidian-looking stone in his study? Or is it the place where we were... With Emily, that secret place there. I must admit, I found it difficult to understand how and why Mortimer didn't have a place in history. On the continent, Mortimer and Holm are mere dandies who organize society balls. History forgets them with a disconcerting facility. No one speaks about them, and yet they whisper in the ears of kings and presidents. All right. Louis, I am proud of you. You came all this way. You found me. You have surpassed me. You taught me everything I know. Right. How did it all begin? I saw him. Wh what do you mean you saw him? Who? I was 20 years old. I was young and carefree. I traveled the world in search of adventure. In the Persian Gulf, we came across an ancient grimoire that became unlocked. Composed of seven parts, each one was a book in itself, set in a sort of metal armor that structured the whole thing. 
when all the volumes were brought together, they formed a single book. On my return to Paris, I set to studying these pages. I spent all my days and nights studying them. Oh, I can imagine you doing that. But the writing was in a language I had never seen before. Developed well before Sumerian, in my opinion. So I got the idea to form a small occult circle composed of all the major names in the occult world to see if anyone else could crack it. And you found no one. And I found someone, Louis. I found him. Or rather, he found me. Walnut? He was young, charismatic. He was flamboyant. It's gotta be... Oh. Mortimer or Hump. I was go I said Walner because he's been rambling on about the book, but I guess it's got to be Von Burchard then. Wait a minute, who are you talking about? Von Burchard? No, no, Mortimer, of course. He uh. was a veritable mine of knowledge. I showed him the book, and he was able to decipher a few passages. We spent several months together studying the pages. Because he was the demon, I suppose. He helped me understand certain passages until I realized that he only translated a few parts for me. But I had aroused his interest. It was too late. How so? I mean to say he manipulated me. Yeah. He used me, and in the end, he stole the book with all its secrets. Did he ever go to your place? Not once. At least I don't think so. But before disappearing, he proposed a pact between us. He proposed that I follow him and let him teach me, allow him to bring me up. Shit, she caved. No, she must have refused. No, I, I'm going to guess that she caved. And you accepted. Please don't be stupid. You don't make Ugh. deals with the devil. That, she that, didn't know at the time, though. Three years later in Berlin, I just missed him. In London, I lost six members of the order in a chase. In 1741, in Tunisia, I found a sect of fanatics who had crossed paths with him once. 1741, in Poland. 1749, in India. Eight years ago, in Venice. We agreed never to speak about what happened in Venice, Louis. Why? You agreed, and that was before you spoke to me about demons. Wait. The baby we delivered, you and me, that night in Venice, did he have anything to do with Lord Mortimer? The child was his son. We stole his son? Are you insane? I always thought we took him to save him. That was the case. It was precisely to save him from his father. Need I remind you the mother died during childbirth? What became of the child? Later. For the moment, that is not the key issue here. Once we found the Alizif in Paris, I followed Von Borchardt's trail here. I didn't think it would lead me straight to the demon. It was careless of me. He toyed with me for a few days, until I caught on, until I saw him as he was. But he had no intention of letting me leave. We are all his pawns, Louis, and if we don't want to spend the rest of our lives turning round in circles here, we must absolutely get off this island. All right, can we move on? Wait a minute, one last thing. Go on, it's all right. Why the cannons for Bonaparte? What happened with Emma? Did you know go? Yeah, that's what I want to know. Crap, we can only ask one thing, though. What happened with Elizabeth? I want to know all of these. Others. Piagi's letter, your hand. Why do you hide your effects on the wharf? I want to know all these. Holy shit. Um... I guess we'll just go with a recent one with Emma. I want to know what happened between you and Emily's sister. Great responsibility often brings difficult choices, Louis. That's all you need to know. Uh, no. Tell me everything. Mother, I won't take a step further if you don't answer me. You dare blackmail me? I'm <laughs> listening. All right, I used her. So there you are. Happy now? We had the Al-Azif, and I didn't think we would be able to escape with it. In order to ensure that the book did not fall into their hands, or that one of them couldn't read in us where we had hidden it, I asked Emily it's to... Emma. Yes, or rather for me, it was Emily. So I asked Emma to hide it without anyone seeing, and then I disposed of her. 
I am sorry for her, but she was part of the Golden Order, Louis. She knew the rules when she joined. Oh, we can ask for all these. Uh, what happened with Elizabeth's, then? I want to know what happened with Elizabeth Adams. Louis, we haven't time for those details. I must know. I'm sorry, Mother, but I want to know. She was one of the receptacles for these monsters. I met her parents when she was born. One of the demons got inside her. The demon used her to spy on her father, John Adams. He is one of the founding fathers and vice president of the United States, you know. Mortimer possessed her? No, I don't think it was Mortimer. Her father, John Adams, hired me to tend to her, but the evil in her was too deep. In spite of the various treatments I tried on her, I never succeeded in getting it out of her. It's not something I'm proud of, Louis, but I had to try everything. Who killed her? Did you kill her? Probably then, right? If she couldn't get the demon, she just killed her then. Mother, did you kill her? Of course not. Don't be stupid. I had no interest in getting rid of her. Okay then, why the cannons? What was going on with the cannons in Tuscany? It was nothing. We are talking about a war, yeah. Since when does the order finance wars? The cannons for that Bonaparte fellow? Listen, once in the lion's den, I did whatever I could to appear legitimate. So yes, I pretended to be interested in Mortimer's project about a young military man who was seeking funding for a foundry in Tuscany. Between you and me, if buying China would have enabled me to escape, I would have signed without hesitation. All right, what about Volner? What did you negotiate about the Alazif with Volner? Absolutely nothing. I managed to pull the wool over his eyes until I found a way to flee. All right, good. Uh, Piagi's letter. On the evening of my arrival, Cardinal Piaggi came looking for you. He was determined to give you a letter. More of his lists. Louis, I think I know what's in that letter, and I beseech you to believe that it is the least of our worries. We can sort that out later. All right, then. What about the letter on the wharf? Samuel Ritter du Chois, you wanted to send me a letter about Godoy. I wanted you to run a check on Duke Manuel. But frankly, it doesn't really matter anymore now. Godoy is just a pawn like the others. He is not the one I was looking for. Okay, why did she hide them? Yeah, I wanted to know that as well. You know, I found your package under a wharf plank. As a matter of fact, I needed it yesterday. I wasn't expecting anyone to take it. Oh, that sucks. Are you going to tell me what happened to your hand? Better than that, I shall show you. Okay, then. Uh, go on. Good. I think that's about right. We shall speak about it once we get back to France. Great actions for humanity have been decided by demons for centuries, Louis. They are playing with our destiny. We are their slaves. And it's time for it to stop. By the way, what was Mortimer's project at this conference? He wants the United States to occupy all the North American territory. France should recover Louisiana and give it to the United States. In that case, the Americans would just have to push west to chase the Spanish from the continent once and for all. And as Mortimer controls Washington, you may just as well say that it will put him at the head of a world superpower. We should do our utmost to put a stop to Mortimer's plans. But for the time being, there are more pressing matters. Okay, then. Uh, are you going to tell me why we're here? Oh, what is this? I, I feel like I'm just sort of along for the ride now. There. That's why we are here. I've got so much wrong in the past 20 minutes or so. What is this? Some sort of puzzle we'll have to figure out. Oh, there's a cross on that altar. Oh. I protected one of the twins. Alternate paths. I could have been a witness of Bonaparte's resolution. I could have learned something from Al Azif. Okay, I hope those don't end up being too important. 
And I hope I picked the correct twin. Well, I guess the correct twin depends on what you want, but... Emily, I suppose. Um, okay. Let's level that one up. That's probably going to be useful with this uh, puzzle we're about to do. Erudition up uh, occultism as well, actually. I'll go for... Because it looked religious... And we're probably going to need the linguistics as well. Yes. I want to get my manuscripts too. Reassure me, we aren't going to have to force that one, are we? I don't think we're even capable of doing it. You're going to have to find a way to open it. Why, of course. And what's inside? Something to vanquish them with? Perfect. So, how does it open? We'll need several keys. I found a note from the architect who conceived the mechanism in Mortimer's secret study. We have to first gather five objects before we try anything. Are the five objects the keys? Exactly. We oh. have the Clement the Third Cross, the nails, the Gutenberg Bible, the exegesis of Judas, an armillary sphere, and all we need to match up the dates between the different calendars. Okay. Um, well, let's ask about them. An exegesis... Anything else? Hmm. You Did you manage to vanquish the Medusa? To open the chimney? Yes, absolutely. So you've already come across it. It's the Bible of Judas that is exposed in the secret room behind the chimney. Why do they call it an exegesis? Because that's what it is, and not an apocryphal Bible, strictly speaking. It's the study of a text with a summary, not an actual Bible. Anyway, well done for the Gorgon. You did well. You didn't get tricked by the light bouncing back. Thanks. Do you think I can take it safely? We haven't got a choice, Louis. Without it, we won't be able to work out this cursed mechanism. All right. What? Which cross? There's got to be a lot of crosses around here. Why a cross? Well, I haven't the foggiest idea. But it just so happens that's what you are going to use to activate the mechanism. I found the one Mortimer kept. It belonged to Cardinal Guibert, Better known by the name of Pope Clement III. Perfect. Where is it? Unfortunately, I've lost it. When I lost my uh. hand, I went dashing out. And it must have fallen from my pocket. Uh, she ought to make an effort to remember. Yeah, well, let's try, I guess. Remember, Mother. I I'm certain you can remember. Let me think. You were running. I was bleeding to death. You remember the pain. I thought I was going to faint. Yes, I remember... I don't think it can be far, can it? Would you have lost it outside? No, I don't think so. It must be in the area. I don't remember going up with it. Perfect. I'll search the crypt before leaving. All right. What about some nails? What if there's like an angel in there? That'd be cool. Angels and demons. Some nails? Don't ask me. I'm not the one who made the mechanism, you know. When I arrived, there were already a few of them inserted, so I didn't have to worry about those. On the other hand, I remember seeing some in Mortimer's secret study, behind his nightmare. In a golden cup? Yes. Yes, I saw them too. Perfect. It will be easy for you to find them then. You need three of them. Very well. You remember what to do about the rollers. 1191 to enter. And 6466 to exit. Of course. Uh, yeah, I didn't figure that one out. I didn't read up enough about it but yeah others dates what do you mean by the concordance of dates exactly don't worry about that we already have them they are written on the back of the message i just gave you okay this is the book in which you left your correspondence with duchess hillsborough isn't it that's right you still believe it's in the tower room don't you i don't know there is only one way to find out though right i shall go and <laughs> see all right there's one in the portrait gallery. Yes, but it's enormous. If you don't want to have to go back and forth several times, then I suggest you get a smaller one. What did you do then? I didn't think I'd need one. I started without one, and I lost my hand before I did need one. And you can see the result. All right, then. That's it for one the One last thing questions. before you go. Be very careful. If you come across anyone, they can all potentially be spies of Mortimer or Holm. Don't ever confide in anyone because a demon can slip inside them at any moment. Wait, not all of them, though. Take Washington. Especially Washington. 
He's been conditioned by Mortimer for years. Look at them for crying out loud. How do you explain their behavior otherwise? The most influential politicians in the Western world gather together without the least protection, without a single aid to assist them, to participate in a conference during which the guests start dropping like flies. Me, Adams, Peru, Hillsborough. Look at the number of calamities that have happened over the past few days. And not one of them has asked to leave the island? Do you find that normal? You'll see. Go up to the manor to look for the keys, and I wager not one of them will speak to you about my being in Emily's room. Do you think so? Go on, you'll see. And come back with all the objects in one go. Time is against us. And remember, the code to get out of the secret office is 6466. Okay, yeah, I won't be forgetting that one this time. Okay, all I've got is questioning and psychology. Well, I might as well just go three points in questioning then. Start quest. Okay, holy crap, we've got a... Honey, lot the remedy to, of the gods. A lot to do. There's some blood there. Did that cut off her arm? Okay, well, maybe that's uh, how she lost it. An old sesterce from Roman Gaul. Well, soon we'll find the uh, cross around here somewhere. Good, I want another de devil's thorn. The famous cross of Claymont the Third. Perfect. Oh. And one key found. Well, that one was uh, super easy. But this one has went on long enough, and we've got plenty to do in the next episode. I still need to examine this and that thing over there. But yes, I assume but it'll be quite uh, the puzzle figuring all these ones out. So I'll end this one here and hopefully I can uh, get them all done in the next one and uh, see what happens with it all. But anyway, peace in the Middle East and may all your games be good ones.